What's going on, everybody? Jose Guzman here, GuzmanBorsonAngus.com. Coming right back at you with another quick video. Uh, this video is going to be one of my favorite topics. Uh, it's going to be how to bottle feed your baby goats. Uh, so this is a topic that you guys should be considering um, and looking into before your kids start or your goats start having kids. Uh, so a couple of items that you should consider having before uh, you even start having kids is going to be some sort of uh, baby bottle. Most of the stuff that I buy is from Premier One Supplies. Uh, if you go to your local um, feed store, I'm sure they have something similar. So get yourself a baby bottle. Uh, get yourself some sort of colostrum. Um, I always have some sort of colostrum replacer. Um, but if you guys have, uh, if you guys are able to make your milk your goats the day of kidding, uh, even better. The natural colostrum is a little bit better, but always could have some sort of uh, colostrum replacer on hand. And the last thing you're going to need is a type of milk. Um, so if you guys know me, you guys know I do have some Alpine Alpine does that can actually milk. But it does take some time. Uh, so I do also have a uh, milk replacer and I, and I do use the one um, you guys see on screen here. Now getting your kid to latch onto the actual baby bottle can be a little bit tricky, uh, especially for the first couple of feedings. But what I do is I pick up the goat with my left hand, um, put her underneath my uh, armpit and then with my left index finger i'll kind of maneuver the mouth open and with my right hand i'll put the nipple of the bottle inside the goat's mouth um, i'll squeeze a little bit doesn't take much they'll start um they'll start realizing that milk comes out of there and by the third fourth feeding as you see here in this video they pick up on on the bottle really fast um, especially with this premier one supply um, baby bottle um, the nipples that they use uh, are pretty realistic to, to an extent, so they do pick up on it uh, really fast. <clears throat> they do have a hole at the opening, which sometimes I do put a little bit of, I do put a toothpick in it. Uh, because if you don't, um, it's an air hole to kind of let air uh, in and out. Uh, but if you feed by hand, um, a lot of milk does get wasted. So I do put a toothpick and I clog that hole uh, just to prevent some, some spilling. <clears throat> now, one of the things that I've, I've implemented this year is I only use a bottle for the first uh, week or so. Um, after the first week, I stopped using a bottle. Um, reason being is the first couple of days, or well, the first day or two, they'll probably take uh, four to five ounces per feeding, and usually I feed them about three to four times. Uh, so essentially, it's going to be about the about a full bottle per day. But within within the Three to four days, you'll see their appetite starts starts going a lot faster. They start drinking a lot more, and then uh, you'll start going um, through a bottle per feeding. Uh, so essentially, you'll start going between three ish, three to four ish uh, bottles per day. Um, so it can be kind of kind of time consuming, um, especially if you just got to be standing there <clears throat> and then just feeding her the bottle. Um, she'll probably take a bottle within about three, four, four ish minutes or so. But one of the things that I recently discovered through Premier One Supplies as well <clears throat> is that they do have a automatic um, bottle feeder. Or it's not essentially a bottle feeder. What it is is a mountable uh, nipple that has a hose that you can run the hose uh, to some sort of container that uses uh, suction and gravity to automatically uh, feed the milk. So as you guys can see here, uh, they do come in different styles, either a single or a dual uh, teat or nipple. And I opted for the dual just in case you do have multiple uh, kids that you're going to be uh, bottle feeding. Um, so the, when I first got this, it was the instructions weren't the best. Um, I believe this is a German product. <clears throat> so I had a really tough time kind of figuring, figuring it out. But once I figured it out, uh, it's super easy. As you guys can see on the, on the screen here, uh, that's the package it comes in. Um, I did end up picking up two just because um, I might want to be setting up two different pens or uh, something of that sort. But it just it comes with with the um, it's a simple installation once you actually figure it out. Um, I looked on YouTube, try to find someone that had this displayed, um, but no one actually had the system set up that I could find. So it, it took me. Um, it took me some trial and, error, trial and error to figure out exactly how to do it. But um, after the first week or so, I did set it up. 
this is the second bottle baby that i've used this system on and they pick up on it really fast <clears throat> so as you can see here it's just a wall mount um, i use zip ties tied it to the little enclosure that i have this little doling in um, and then the nipple sticks inside there is the connector the connector tube that connects the nipple to it the little tube um, it does have a backflow prevention which keeps the milk flowing one way and then the tube keeps going it ends up in a stainless steel weight that keeps the tube down um, the milk does get a little bit foamy just because it does use suction so you will get a lot of foam that comes from it but at the end of that tube it does have a little filter so currently what i've been using is just this mason jar um, and then i still use the regular bottles and essentially i just use the bottles as a measuring uh, method that way i that way i stay consistent with the way that i mix but as you take a look here it's a stainless steel rod and at the very end is just that little filter uh for now i just uh fill this mason jar up probably about three to four times uh per day and as you can see here she picks up on it really fast um essentially what this allows me to do is, is to always have some sort of milk available to her at all times um, like I said, she doesn't need milk every single time, but it at least gives me the opportunity um, where if I need to step out for a little bit, I know that I don't have to rush back because my goat's going to be hungry. Um, it gives me kind of like a little extra reservoir. For now, I do use the regular size mason jars, but as she gets bigger and she starts drinking a lot more, um, I do have the gallon mason jars where I can have a gallon uh, of milk ready for her. Um, I don't do that much milk. Like I said, I do um, do it fresh. So I do make three to four different bottles per day. And then I, I individually dump them in there. Um, that, that way it's a lot fresher. Um, I can control the temperature. Uh, but in the future, I do have a setup where I can put the mason jar in a cooler. Um, that way I can control the temperature to whatever uh, temperature I might want. Um, you know, do you can do your research, see what type of temperature works, works best for you. Um, for now, I do do a little bit of a room temp to slightly warm. Um, and then in the future, as she gets older, I might go a little bit colder. That way I can preserve the milk a little bit more. Uh, but do some research on your own. Test it. Try it. Uh, see what works best for you, like I said. Um, and then hopefully this video was of, uh, was of help for you. Um, and with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out our website, goosenborzangus.com. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Appreciate it.